Hello and welcome to today's video. So I had the idea for this the other day. I thought it would be really fun to do like a little mascara series. Uh, I know most people have an area in their collection that they just love trying out different formulas. It doesn't matter how many they have. I've seen, you know, people's collections where they have 50 highlighters and 50 bronzers and they just can't get enough. Those categories for me, I could have one of each and be perfectly happy. However, mascaras, I love trying out. So my idea is to do like a mascara drawer rotation series. And I just want to add, this is mommy makeup time because it's the evening. I just put the baby to bed. Everybody else is somewhere else in the house. She's still awake in her bed, so you might hear some little baby grunts and gurgles in the background, but that's just how it's going to be right now. But yeah, so my idea was it might be fun to do a little mascara drawer rotation series. So whenever I am bringing in some new mascaras and taking out some new mascaras from my little drawer here, um, I would just go about and talk to you about the formulas and what I thought and maybe insert some little clips of how they look on my lashes. Um, yeah, if you are a mascara lover like I am, I thought you might find this interesting. So this is my current drawer and I was just about ready to bring some of these out. So there's some mascaras in here that I'm ready to take out. Either they're past their prime or I'm just not enjoying them and I am going to be bringing some mascaras in. Now I will mention that I don't tend to follow the three month rule with mascaras. For me it's more performance and then also how many, like how much I've used it, how many times I've opened and closed the tube. So it does get to a certain point. I mean there are some mascaras that even though they technically work perfectly fine, if I know they've been in my collection for like too long, I will bring them out and that is the case of one of these actually. But for the most part, if I really like a mascara and if it's performing really well, I will keep it in my rotation for more than three months. I also want to add that what I look for in a mascara, because this is going to be different for everybody, I have pretty naturally long lashes that have a bit of curl to them already, so I really like mascaras that are going to give me a lot of volume, a lot of drama, um, I don't need the length so much, so I'm really looking for them to really coat my lashes and give me the drama, because my lashes are naturally... Uh, very like light so without mascara they look like they're barely there so I think what I also do is pop in a picture here this is me without mascara so you can kind of see the difference between um, the formulas and what they do so let's go back to my little drawer here um, there are some in here that I know I'm going to be taking out and let's talk about this one first so this is the Tarte Big Ego. I received this in a BoxyCharm and I actually don't mind them this mascara but I was looking at my list of when products enter my collection and I got this last summer so this is approaching a year and so I was like you know what it is time to go and the performance is starting to change so that is why I am taking this one out. Now I did enjoy this but I really like getting high-end mascaras in subscription boxes. I'm not one to really go out and pay 20 plus dollars for a mascara just because there are so many good ones at the drugstore. So this one is going to be coming out. The next one that is going to be coming out is this one here. This is a hard candy mascara at the Dare to Extend. And I saw someone talk about this on um, a video of theirs reviewing some new drugstore mascaras that they had purchased and this is supposed to be like a tubing mascara and I've been really really curious about tubing mascaras because everyone talks about the one by Thrive and that is just not something that I can purchase at this time. This is coming out because I just don't like it. I've tried it a couple of times and I don't like how it goes on, I don't like how it makes my lashes look, and I don't like how it is to take off and those are basically three strikes. Um, I don't mind dealing with an application or removal that is less than ideal if the effect of my lashes is like stellar, but if you're not going to make my lashes look the way I want them and then you're also kind of a pain to put on and a pain to take off, then that kind of seals your fate. Uh, I will show you the brush on this one and this is part of the reason that I really don't like it. If you can see the wand here, it's full of these short spiky rubber bristles and there's these big wells where the mascara sits 
and I just find it super, super messy and like wet to put on. Um, I find I get it all over my lids. It's, it's just really hard to get a coating that I like. So for that reason, I like I said, I've tried this a couple times. I just don't enjoy it, so this one is coming out. The next one that is coming out is this one here by Lancome. Um, this was part of a... Uh, like a little box set from a Shoppers Drug Mart, which is like the Canadian Ulta. Uh, they had like a lash kit so that you could try a whole bunch of different high-end mascaras. There was a, a coupon enclosed, and if you liked one, then you could redeem it for a full size. So this is one of the first ones that I tried from that box. And this wand here, um, it is more of a natural bristle brush. But again, it's super, super spiky. I find when I'm putting this on, it stabs me. Uh, and I also find that I get this all over my lids. Like, I just, I don't like a messy mascara because even though I know you can let it dry, you can kind of flake it off, um, I find it still kind of um, alters my, my eye look and I have to go back in and kind of patch things up. So this one is also coming out. And again, the result of my lashes is, was nice but it wasn't worth, um, it's just not worth the application hassle, and I do believe this one is okay. This one comes off okay as well, but I just, I don't love this one, and I have lots of other of these little minis to try, uh, so yeah, I'd rather just move on to another one. And finally, the last two mascaras to come out of my drawer are these two samples from the Too Faced. This is the Better Than Sex Mascara and the Waterproof one. Uh, this I got, and I think it was the Sephora um, version of the kind of lash kit where you can try a whole bunch of mascaras. I've tried the Better Than Sex Mascara before. I got a full-size one in my BoxyCharm, and I do enjoy it. The bristle brush is nice and fluffy. It's a natural bristle brush compared to like the plastic spiky ones. Uh, but yeah, this has just been here too long and um, I know I like it, but it's really no different than some of the drugstore ones I've tried, like that CoverGirl Exhibitionist. And so while I like it, I wouldn't go out of my way to purchase it because it's, it's nothing spectacular. So these two are coming out. I haven't actually used the waterproof one that much, but... I don't like waterproof ones, I don't really have a need for them, and then they're harder to get off. So, um, yeah, just because this has been in here for a while, I'm going to take that one out too. So that leaves these two here, and I am going to leave these in the drawer for now. Um, they might come out in the next rotation, we'll see. This is the NYX On The Rise Volume Mascara. I specifically bought this because of Allie Glines on YouTube. Um, and she has kind of similar lashes to me, where she has just very really naturally long lashes. So often the mascaras she likes are ones I like as well. And I do like this one, but I find you really, really have to layer it. Um, I find one layer, it's nothing impressive. Um, you have to go about three layers before you really get the volume. And it has those little rubber bristles, which I'm not a huge fan of, but I can apply this one without too much mess. So this one is going to stay for a little while so I can get a little bit more use out of this one. The other one that is going to be staying in the drawer is this Essence You Better Work Length Defining Mascara, um, Gym Proof Waterproof. I've used this a couple of times, but honestly I couldn't tell you what I think about it. It's been a while since I've used it. Obviously it didn't wow me, but I don't think I disliked it either. So I would like to try this a few more times just so I can form a better opinion on it. And its bristles look like this. I think the reason I wanted to try this is the brush is very similar to um, the Benefit Bad Girl Bang, and I really, really like that mascara. So yeah, I'm going to keep this in for now, and uh, hopefully with the next rotation I will be better informed. I will have some more opinions and some application photos. So those are the two that are staying in. Now for the ones that are coming in. Um, I think most of these, no, it's just this one that is a YouTuber made me buy it. So the first one going in is this Bambi Eye Mascara by L'Oreal. I heard Jessica Brown talk about this. She has been raving about this and wearing it all the time, so I just had to try it. I purchased it in the black brown just because I don't have, uh, most of my mascaras are like blackest black, and I thought it might be nice to have something that was a little more natural. So this is going to be going into the drawer. The next one going into the drawer is this Lily Lashes Mascara. I just received this in a boxy charm, so I really want to try this out. It's supposed to be very volumizing, so I'm very excited about this one. This is another recent purchase, though it's not the one that I was hoping to get. I had heard Sarah Rose talk about an e.l.f. mascara that she really loved, and she compared it to the Balm's 
Mad Lash, which is one I want to try. But again, it's high-end mascara, and I don't, I find it really difficult to spend the money on high-end mascaras. So she had said that there was this elf mascara that was almost the same, and I was in Walmart one day, I had the baby with me, and she was just starting to get fussy, so I just kind of grabbed a mascara. I couldn't remember exactly which one she was talking about, so I just grabbed one. Turns out this is not the one she was talking about, but I'm still going to try this anyway, so this is going in the drawer. And the final one going into the drawer for this round is the Stila Huge Mascara. This is the next one from that kind of uh, sample kit that I got from Shoppers Drug Mart. So this is going to be going in for me to try. So there we have it. This is my current mascara drawer going forward for the next little while. Once I decide to take some more out and to put some more in, I will record another little clip and hopefully have some feedback for you on the ones that I just put in. Um, I hope you like this video, especially if you're a mascara lover. I would love to know what is your go-to dye-hard mascara. Let me know in the comments below, and I will see you in the next one.